Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on firmware 4.0.1, 4.0, 3.1.3, or 3.1.2. Now, this jailbreak is very simple. It, all it requires is just a couple of minutes. Um, you're going to need an internet connection, and that's basically it. Now, I would recommend that you restore your iPhone in iTunes to with iTunes 9.2.1 to the latest firmware, which is 4.0.1 or you can keep your 4.0 but it has to be restored clean so the jailbreak doesn't have any errors alright so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and restore my iPhone in iTunes alright while it's restoring for those of you who did not get it your iPhone can be updated to the latest firmware and it's gonna be fine because this jailbreak deals with that firmware and if you're on an iPad you're gonna wanna be running 3.2.1 or 3.2 firmware and yeah you're gonna need the latest iTunes so go ahead and update it's not gonna affect it in any way so yeah just a quick heads up alright now that you've finished restoring it through iTunes and activating it and if you don't know how to activate it I have a video on my description you're gonna need to move your laptop aside or just your computer because the rest is from your iPhone and if you don't have an internet connection go to a neighbor's steal it uh, go to a Starbucks and just get some free Wi-Fi but this method of jailbreak is a little bit different than the other ones but it works just as good now on your browser you're gonna need to type in http colon forward slash forward slash j a i l b r e a k k m e dot com and that spells jailbreakme dot com uh, and just press go now it's gonna look just like your slide screen but it's actually a uh, embedded thing for your iPhone and when you slide to jailbreak it you're gonna see some downloading jailbreak data and that's this will take a while so be right back alright now it's almost done and there we go Cydia has been added to the home screen have fun thanks a lot comics now once we go to our home screen uh, we slide over and there is Cydia, so we're going to have to open it and I'll be right back once it reloads data. Alright, now that it's finished reloading, we need to save your SHSH file on Sarix server so that you can downgrade to this firmware in the future. Now you can tell if yours is saved if you have a little small text right there, but if not, there'll be a button right here and you click it, it'll say make my life easier and that'll save your SHSH file. For those of you that are happy with just the jailbreak, uh, you're done. But those of you that want a carrier unlock for T-Mobile on an iPhone, you click Manage, Sources, Repo 666, and Ultra Snow, And you'll click the Install button right there. After it's done installing, it'll ask for a reboot. Once you reboot, you'll have an unlocked and jailbroken iPhone 4, 3GS, or any other type of device that you have. Alright guys, that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel for more videos and press like on this video. Thanks a lot guys.